90-year-old woman refuses cancer treatment so she can fulfill her bucket list. Hey, lovely people. I'm Scott Leffler from Wonder Earth. Before we begin, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for new amazing videos. Cancer is not something I would ever wish on anyone, not even my worst enemy. Most people today have had their lives touched in one way or another by this terrible disease. Since cancer became a major health concern, advances in treatments have come more rapidly as science has dedicated more resources to cancer research. Unfortunately, though, cancer still claims millions of lives every year. Being diagnosed with a disease would not be easy for anyone to deal with. Reactions range from shock to anger or sadness. One reaction that's not common, however, is one of acceptance and peace. Well, that's how 90-year-old Norma decided to take the news that she was diagnosed with cancer. The doctors offered her a variety of treatment options, but she decided to say no thanks. She realizes that at 90 years old, she's had a good run. Her husband passed away at 67, so she had nothing holding her to her home in Michigan. So she decided to use her diagnosis as motivation to do the things she never had time to do throughout her life. She decided to get an RV and travel around the country with her family. She's taking the ultimate road trip, and she's documenting her entire journey. Check out the pictures from this woman's unforgettable last ride. Meet Norma. Though she was diagnosed with cancer at the age of 90, she isn't letting that slow her down one bit. Instead of being sad, she decided to travel and experience the world. A trip to Disney World seems like an extremely logical place to start. Being the happiest place on Earth, though, couldn't things go down from there? Not when Norma's involved. She definitely looks the part of a Viking. Her smile is absolutely infectious. You can't help but be happy when you're around her. She's determined to experience everything that life can offer, including hot air ballooning. She looks like she's having the time of her life. I don't know if New Orleans is ready for the party that Norma's about to bring. She seems to fit right in in the Big Easy. It really is amazing that this lady's 90 years old. You'd never know it by interacting with her. She decided to make a stop at the National World War II Museum. If you say someone is too old for a snowball fight, you deserve what you get. If I was in Norma's situation, I would eat anything and everything I'd ever wanted. Word to the wise, if you ask Norma to give you a big smile, this may be what you get. Norma had always wanted to go to the Kennedy Space Center. Seeing a space shuttle up close would be a dream come true for almost anyone. The fact that this thing's been in space is pretty astonishing. This was Norma's first official fist bump. Her travels took her to many exotic and scenic places, like this road through the Baja. This was one of the views during her time in Skull Valley, Arizona. What a gorgeous sunset rainbow sky. She got to witness some breathtaking scenery. It seems she enjoys a good beer, a woman after my own heart. While Norma may be only 5 foot 10 and 100 pounds, her spirit's about as big as this statue of the Jolly Green Giant in Blue Earth, Minnesota. This is Norma with her family at St. Augustine Fort in Florida. You're never too old to try a mimosa for the first time. Making new friends is always fun, too. No trip would ever be complete without seeing the Grand Canyon first. What an amazing sight that must be. Norma's been traveling for around six months in a motorhome with her family by her side the entire way. She says she's pain-free and actually believes her cancer might be in remission. Surviving the face of loss is something Norma's experienced throughout her life. She said her biggest piece of advice is to keep praying every day and God will take care of you. She also said that storytelling and talking about happier times is very helpful. Norma's Facebook page said that she's still aspiring to go to the moon. After seeing her positive attitude and youthful energy, I wouldn't go betting against her at this point. In the face of imminent tragedy, Norma's managed to stay positive throughout her entire cancer experience. It's very rare that you find someone who can find the silver lining in any situation. Many people say that having a positive attitude can go a long way in deterring whether you beat a disease or illness. If that's the case, then cancer is never going to beat Norma. She has enough of a positive outlook for 10 people and is still just as energetic and curious as people a quarter her age. I hope to one day hear that doctors have given her an all-clear diagnosis.